Let's talk about how to complete the task of word analysis for the English 7 vocabulary research assignment. The word analysis task is contained here. Analyze the word for prefix, root, and suffix. This means that you're taking the word apart into its different components. If you want to know about how to do this, of course, you should read skill number one in the vocabulary skills primer. This document should be always available for you. The first page discusses word analysis. It gives you some discussion about prefixes, roots, and suffixes, and what exactly they are, and some examples of how to take words apart. But, of course, this video tutorial will provide you with some extra support and some guidance step-by-step -step on how to do that. You can see that my word is judicial. I have no prefix, I have this root, and I have this suffix. How exactly did I accomplish this? Well, two ways. First, take a look at what you have here. You have a root. Just, jud, jur. That will tell you what your root is. The rest of the material can come from using the dictionary. Let's take a new word. The word is prejudice. You may say, yeah, I know exactly what that is, and I know how to take that apart. But are you sure? Are you sure you know what the suffix is, what the prefix is, and what the root is? Double check and use these skills. First, you know that the lesson said J-U-D is a root. So, it's probably correct to write J-U-D as a root in the root position. That's easy enough. That leaves you with pre and I-C-E. Seems like that would be the prefix and that would be the suffix. Always check your work. You will come into contact with more complicated and challenging words. Do not always rely upon your own intuition to solve the problem correctly. Let's look at dictionary.com. Let's look here in the origin section. This origin section will take the word apart for you. Do not look up here because this is merely syllables and pronunciation. You want to look here in the origin section because the origin section will take the word apart as it talks about its history. We can see first that pre is listed as a prefix. We know it's a prefix because of the hyphen just to the right. We can type that into the prefix position. Yes, we knew that at the outset, but we've now checked our work. What about I-C-E? Is that a suffix? Strangely, when I look at this, I don't see I-C-E. I see judic, stem of judex, judge, plus eum, I-U-M, but eum isn't part of my word. Eum is a standard Latin suffix, not necessarily one that is an English suffix, even though we use it sometimes. I'm not quite sure. This doesn't help me all that much. Ah, but I can be creative and check things out. Dictionary.com lists suffixes by themselves if you know how to type for them. I believe that I-C-E is a suffix. I think I'm right about that. So I'll type it to check. Type a dash at an I-C-E to see if it's a suffix. Surely enough. It comes up, a suffix of nouns indicating state or quality appearing in loan words from French. So, I can use I-C-E as my suffix. I checked it on dictionary.com. It is a suffix. I know this is my root. It comes from the lesson. I know this is my prefix. I saw that in the origin on dictionary.com. And I know that I-C-E is a standard suffix. Dictionary.com told me. So, not only have I taken this word apart into its prefix, root, and suffix, but I've verified that I'm correct by using the material on the lesson and the information on dictionary.com. If you follow those steps, no word, no matter how difficult, can be a mystery to you. Ask questions in class or enter into discussion on my big campus.